Hello everyone. Okay, so by default, when you format numbers in a minimum field width, they are displayed right justified. So let's look at how you can display them left justified. Okay, so I'm going to declare a double. I'm going to call it number. I'm going to initialize it to a random a floating point value. Let's format this value uh, this value a little bit. So I'm going to call the system.out.printf method. The system.out.printf method takes in a couple of arguments. The first argument is how you want a certain value formatted. It goes in a format string, and in this format string, it will have format specifiers embedded in it. And then the second argument is what you want to format. In this case, we want to format the value of number. <coughs> all right, so we want to format number, first of all, as a floating point value. So I'm going to type in the percentage F. All format, uh, all, all format specifiers, okay, in the entire format string, start with a percentage sign. This F means we want to format this number as a floating point value. So now we need, I want to format this value to two decimal places. I'm going to specify the precision. The precision goes in between the percentage and the F. So I'm going to type in 0.2 to represent two decimal places. If I wanted to format it to three decimal places, I'll say 0.3. So let's compile and I'll run and see how it works. Okay, so we're making progress. Now I want to also embed commas where necessary. A comma is a flag, and we know that flags come first in between the percentage and the F. Okay, in between the percentage and the F, flags come first before anything else. So a comma is one, one type of flag. There are several types. I'm going to type in a comma here, compile, and then run, and it's going to automatically insert commas where necessary. Okay, so far we're making progress. And I want to display this number, okay, in a minimum field width of... 20 characters. So remember flags in the percentage and the F, okay, flags come first. And so when you, okay, so when you want to display numbers in a minimum field width, the minimum field width also comes before the precision, all right? So it comes before the point two. So I want to display this number in a minimum field width of 20 characters, so I'm going to type in 20 here. When I compile and I run, we can see that in a space that is 20 characters wide, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oops, hold on, hold on. what was I doing? All right, in a space that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 characters wide, this number has been displayed in there. Um, and because this number, in terms of characters, is less than the 20 characters of the entire width, this number is, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 characters. When it happens that the number you're displaying in the minimum field width of 20 characters, in this case, when it happens that this number is less in terms of characters, it's displayed right justified on the right. What if you wanted to display this number on the left, okay, left justified? What you do is, with your minimum field width, all you have to do is you place a minus sign in front of it. So when I compile and I run, we can see this number here has been displayed. Still, with the minimum field width, we can see this kind of um, angle bracket over here, you know, marking the end of our minimum field width. So it's displayed in a uh, left justified here. So you can do, for example, on a receipt, you may want to have certain things on the left, certain things on the right. So what you can do, I'm going to have a new line character, right? Before that, let me just make a copy of this line and paste it here. So we can see, when I compile this and I run, it's going to look funny, right? That's because after I display the first value, I need to also have a new line character. And I can embed a new line character in my format string, entire format string. I'm going to type in the backslash n. And we know the new line character, okay, after displaying our value formatted, we'll create a new line. We'll move the position from the end of that first value, okay, to the next line. And anything that follows it, in this case, our, sy our second system without the printf, the value is going to be displayed from the next line going. So when I compile and I run, we can see that all these values have been displayed in a space that is. 20 characters wide, left justified because there's a ne negative sign in front of them. When I remove the negative sign from the second value, it's going to be right justified by default because when you n include a minimum field width, by default, it's right justified if, um, yeah, by default, they're all right justified. Um, um, yeah, so compile and then run, and we can see that this value here has been right justified. And so you can do something like this. Um, so let's do something neat here. I'm going to also add a new, another new line character because I'm going to add things after that or display stuff after it. So I'm going to make a copy of these two lines and 
and paste it and compile and then run you can see that they're looking kind of zigzaggy that's because these two have percentage uh, no, sorry negative signs in front of the minimum filled width and these two don't have negative signs in front of them so in on receipts they do they do things like that but it's important to know how this works so you can kind of manipulate your programs that way all right we'll talk more about it going forward if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything to respond to them thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye